In the beginning, I didn't want him to dump me. And I wanted to be really fun and vivacious and cool and easygoing. I very much see myself as a choreographer. Movement's the real starting point for what I do. But I suppose in some ways it's more, almost more akin to visual arts in, in terms of what I'm interested in doing with that movement. see the evolution of dance itself? I think originally it was a very much a, a community activity and also a sacred activity so dance was often something that a particular member of a tribe or members of a tribe um, did as, as like a, almost like a communication like with a, a spiritual telling. plane right. and you notice with children that they you put on any music for a child, any child, and they'll, they'll move, they'll dance. It's a very natural instinct. And somehow we lose that as we get older. Im tiefen Tal, dein Nachtgebet und auch dein Sterngemahl. Im tiefen Erdbeertal, im schwarzen Haar, da schließ ich manchen Sommerland bei dir und schlief. I was drawn to dance, you know, from an early age, and I had ballet lessons, like a lot of little girls, I think. Um, Here in Melbourne? No, in Adelaide. I'm originally from Adelaide. Right. After that, I moved to Sydney, and I began working with a choreographer there called Russell Dumas. Some artists are just directed from a very early age and they know exactly what they want to do. Right. But for me, that point didn't really come, I suppose, until about my mid-twenties, when I had been dancing for quite a while and I went, this particular choreographer took me to New York and I think that was a, a turning point for me in a way that I realised that I did have something that I wanted to say and dance actually really did interest me because it introduced me to this other level of, of thinking about dance as a more, uh, not, as, not so much as a kind of physical expression but as a, as a way of expressing ideas. <laughs> 